This is a WBZ News update. I'm Anna Myler. Taking a look at our top stories, police are investigating a deadly stabbing in Dorchester. They say a man was found stabbed in the area of Cushing Avenue around 3 o'clock this morning. He was rushed to the hospital and later pronounced dead. So far, no word on any suspects. Firefighters in Quincy rescued a woman from a house fire. She was taken to the hospital with severe burns. A neighbor took this video when the flames broke out around midnight. Right now, the cause is under investigation. Firefighters say a man in his 30s is hospitalized with serious injuries after getting stuck on an escalator at the Malden Orange Line station. It appears his clothing might have gotten caught, causing his arm to be pulled into the escalator. He was taken to Mass General Hospital. MBTA Transit Police say they're investigating. A man injured in a fiery explosion at a furnace plant in Ayer has died. Several agencies are now investigating what caused the blast, including the state fire marshal's office and OSHA. Police say the man in his 50s was life flighted from advanced vacuum systems to the hospital. A second worker was also hurt. Right now, it's not clear what went wrong, but investigators are looking at a possible pressure vessel failure. Now let's send things over to meteorologist Barry Burbank. Hi, Anna. Hi, everybody. Here's what's going on with our forecast today and a few more scattered snow flurries or maybe a brief heavier snow shower in a few spots. Primarily, most of them is going to be happening to uh, over southeastern Massachusetts as we get deeper into the afternoon hours. A few snow showers may form from time to time, but not all that much and certainly won't match the magnitude of a few of the snow showers that happened early this morning before dawn. And also, we're going to have uh, sl uh, slivers of blue sky start to show up. It'll start brightening up. The sun will pop out from time to time as well. Of course, the sun's setting this evening just a little after 7 o'clock. There'll still be clouds coming in. There still could be some additional ocean effect snow showers tonight and very early tomorrow morning. And then it looks like it's going to turn basically sunny, except clouds lingering on the Cape much of tomorrow. We're going to start out tomorrow morning around 30 in Boston, 35 in the Cape, down to as low as 20 in parts of central Massachusetts. So that's the deal on tomorrow. Low temperatures again, 25 to 30 around here for tonight, and high temperatures tomorrow should be a little bit higher, especially inland, where it only goes to about 36 to 38 today. Tomorrow it'll still be only up to 38 along the coast, go as high as 41 to 43 in far metro west into Worcester County coming up tomorrow. And that storm here is going out to sea, so we don't have to worry about that as that develops into a big one out over the ocean. That's going to be a total miss for us. So that's good news. So what's ahead? A milder day on Tuesday, although it'll still be brisk along the coast and down over the Cape, but at least we'll have bright sunshine in 48. Then we get some showery rains in the 40s on Wednesday. Thursday is the pick day of the week. Milky sunshine and up near 60 away from the ocean. Could be a chilling spring-like sea breeze in the afternoon at the coast, though. Then we get some rain coming up on Friday. And that's your forecast for now, Anna. Thank you, Barry. This has been a WBZ News update. Have a great day.